Welcome to take our minds off the awful pandemic and lockdown. You've come up with a crafty date for us to do today. Well, to be fair, you came up with this crafty date. So today we're going to make ourselves some face masks. So I was going to make some anyway, and then you suggested that we both make some. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do today. As always, if you like this video and would like to see more, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. So it's not a tutorial. We're going to follow another free tutorial. We're going to be using the Tilly and the Buttons face mask. There are so many out there, I just couldn't decide for ages which mask to do, which is why it's kind of taken two months to make us face masks. I mentioned in a recent catch up that I did make one for my mum, um, just because I had some leftover fabric um, from making her birthday badge that I thought, hey, why not make a matching face mask for a birthday? Anyway, I wasn't that keen on the shape of that face mask, so I thought we'd try a different one, specifically one with pleats. Now, we're going to do the Tilly and the Buttons one, but I do have some elastic, so I think we're going to substitute the ties for elastic. Okay. Just because it'll be easier to put on and off. So the first thing we need to do, actually, Phil, is use the iron. So I've put an ironing board, my little bubble one, just to clear some room. Oh, that's just an ironing board. Right. <laughs> so I've got a seam gauge here, okay. which will help. So um, do you want me to go first to show yes. you? and then? Okay. I will watch you iron and work yeah. out what So, done. the first thing we need to do is... I cut this the wrong way? No. It doesn't really have a... Does it go up that way? I don't think there's an up. Are you sure? Yeah. It's so hard to tell. It's flowers. I don't think there's an up on the flowers. Anyway, it's not important at the moment. It's a trial anyway to see if it's a good one. So, the first thing she's supposed to do is to fold a centimetre. Okay. And on each side, and then a further one centimetre. So I've got this seam gauge which makes it a lot easier. For me anyway. Because it's a nice stable cut and it's fairly easy to press anyway. And it's a nice straight line. Mm. So I'm just going to fold over the, this then twice while I'm down this end. Maybe it's very easy. That's it. You're going to see just how easy it is. Okay, so that's one side done, and then I'm going to do the other side. When was the last time you used a sewing machine? Do you know? Uh, I think yeah. I'd say about 14 years ago I used a sewing machine. Wow. It is a while. Do you feel confident? Yeah, it's easy enough. Yeah. So you've never used my sewing machine? No, I don't think so. I guess you've never really had the inclination. Well, yeah. Okay, so I've done mine. This one's very well. Uh, I normally ask you that. No. For my fabrics, can you not tell? I think that's right side up and that's wrong side. Would you agree? Uh, yeah, I think that's the wrong side, yeah? Yes. Yeah. So you have the wrong side facing you at the moment, cool. and you're folding one centimetre down. Like that? Okay, I know what centimetre is. I mean, you've actually got grid-like fabric. I'd press, actually, where the white bit is here. Oh, yeah. You know, so the top of the white square. And I'd just, so maybe repress this bit so it's right on the white square and then carry on. Okay. Next, we're stitching down okay. these folded edges in place. So we're just stitching close to the um, inner folded edge. Yeah. On both sides. So I'll quickly do it and then you can follow suit. Mm -hmm. Being launched at Pro. Yeah. Some of the GCSE and tech styles. I know, you're more qualified than me. There's a pedal. Oh, you haven't put the foot. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would help. Right, so you need to bring, we're still working with right sides together. Yep. Oh, on the wrong side. 
So you need to fold it in half so that your two hemmed edges are at the top. Okay, better. Yep, but at the top. <laughs> you can do it from the bottom, I guess. And you need them matching, yeah. So that bit's going up a bit. Yeah. So you need to fold, just fold it so they meet. Then slightly wonky. Like that. Perfection. Okay. Alright, and then what you're gonna do yep. is mark you need to find five centimeters. And stab it. Yeah. Okay, I can do that. And then five cent so it's five centimeters on both ends. Um, so I'm going forward a bit, and then I'm using the lever to go back yeah. to reinforce the stitching. Did you use that at school? Yeah. Yep. It's just dry on one hand. Oh. And then... Just going back when I get to the pen. Did you make it look easy? Alright, you're doing alright. Thank you. Right. Yeah. Myself. Okay, so the next thing is to press it into its shape roughly. Right, so I'm working out how much elastic I need, so I put this up to my face, bearing in mind there's a one centimetre seam allowance, and then I've just measured, kind of holding the elastic around my ear, because I'm going to do around the ear, and then through. Yep. So I think that's the amount I'm going to use, which is about 18 centimetres. Yeah. Or 18 and a half. Yeah. But this whole reel, it kind of looks like I've been holding elastic, oh. but I've had it years. Surprised it hasn't gotten funny actually, because sometimes elastic is a bit weird. Okay. Right, so I've cut two, and then what I'm going to do is slot them inside. Oh, so that's what we're doing. Actually, to be honest, before. you can do that. The thingy bobs. Mm-hmm. Well, that's so you can add a filter. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to put it near the bottom, or right near the bottom, and then I'm going to use a peg to peg it in place. So the main issue we're going to have is because we haven't got the pleats yet, but the elastic bunch is in, so there's a risk we might accidentally stitch on the elastic. Because my machine doesn't like this hat elastic that much, you're probably best going from the middle to the edge on both okay. sides. But just keep in mind where the elastic is. Do you need to reinforce the stitching, huh? No, it's fine. Are you sure? Yeah. 
Yeah, it's in free salt. Let's see. Okay. I'm sure. Alright, on to the other side. Yay! to wear in this Manix Teams meeting. Mm. So I've um, just pressed mine and now I'm going to mark where the pleats are going to be. Have you ever ironed? Yeah, well, I didn't know my textiles. Do you see that? Yeah, just, just Is that the only time you've ever ironed? You've pressed that. I think I've ironed the shirt a lot. Yeah, for the interviews and things. I think I've always been around, haven't I? There's, there's no one interviewing around for. Was I sending you a picture? Mm. Was that a tie? Tying up a tie? I might have already ironed the shirt. That is true. I think you might have just been doing your own tie. That was it, yeah. Sounds like me. Are you happy with that? Yeah. Right, so the measurements you need to mark. So you need to put it down the side and then just make a little mark so hold the zero to the top. So, like I said, to do the pleats, so you need to move that top point to the second point. Okay. So, and then repeat for the next two markers. You start with that point, go to the second point. Okay, that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, okay. Just grab me. 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 Just what are we doing now? So, you are stitching the side, so one centimetre away. Okay. So, you need to use that guide. It is getting a bit funny though with the elastic again. But what I do is start a little bit further down and then back tack okay. over it and then start off and hopefully it will work. It's a lot of hoping. Yeah, a lot of hoping. You just need to do the channel now. So okay. if you fold it in half, so the ear bits meet, I'll probably okay. do it the other way because that's the side you're going to be stitching on. So half. And then if you bring it up to here, on one of these, you just need five centimetres you need to mark. Or you can use one of the squares as five centimetres anyway. Okay. Yeah, and then you just need to put a pin on each. And so try not to pin it all together. You cut all your threads. You got. You're wearing quite a lot of them. Thank you. I think I wear them well. I'm like a proper crafter. So the final bit is putting the nose wire in. Okay. So if you go to the back of your mask, it's got an opening so that you can put a filter in it if you want to. But this is the way to access that channel we've just created. Of course. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? I put it on upside down. <laughs> it's a good start. I'm really pleased. I'm putting it in the wrong way. <laughs> Have you pressed your nose bit? Yeah. Oh, God. Paper tips are hard. Yeah, I wasn't that sure on your nose. You do need to mold it, though. Yeah. Or it's not effective. Put some craft wire if you prefer that. Yeah, that's fine. Is that alright, the elastic, or do you need to double it up? No, double it up. Oh, sorry, I should have done it. 
We were so close. So close. We'll have to repair this off camera. I just stitch it on the outside. Yeah, I was just kind of I did say you needed to reinforce it, didn't I? You did. Okay, well, how's mine? Yours is excellent. Mine's really good too. Yeah. Okay. Not quite as effective. What do you want to fix it quickly? Uh, yeah. Well, as I was saying, machine steam is set up. I see what people mean about um, these masks steaming up your glasses. Somebody had told me to reinforce it before. Yeah, did. So after a quick repair, mm -hmm. so after a quick repair, uh, because my friend says maybe you should secure your last a little bit better, she was right. So what do you think of the fit? It fits well. I think my last needs a little bit tired. But apart from that, what I can do is tie a little knot. Yeah. That's what I've done in mine. Although I think I've done it a bit too tight now. How does that feel? Oh, that's better. Okay. Should I do it on the other side? Nope. So I. Personally, feel like this one fits much better than the one I made my mum. But yeah, it seems to be quite well there. I quite like the pleats because you can still talk. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so overall, I'm really happy with this face mask. I think next time, as you've noticed, I've tied a couple of knots in my hat elastic. Next time, I will probably cut the elastic a bit shorter so that it um, fits better. Um, but I mean, this is a good point. If you do make one with elastic and you're a bit too generous with the elastic, you can just tie a knot in it and make it shorter. So I think it's a really good design. And as you can see, you know, Phil and I have got different face shapes and it fits both of us, yeah. which is um, very positive. I think the pleats work well. So the one I did before didn't have pleats, but I think it works well because then it has a bit of give so that you can talk while you've got it on. And you with my next team meeting. <laughs> yeah. With the teams. Okay. If you want to. I will do. I mean, as you can see, like Phil hadn't sewn on a sewing machine for 14 years, and even then, you probably didn't do a huge amount of sewing in no, no, textiles, no. or did you? Not really. No. So, I mean, you know, you managed to make one. Obviously, we did have a slight debacle with the uh, elastic, um, but you did manage to make it, so it is a fairly beginner friendly project would you say? I would say so. Yeah and obviously if you made it with the ties it would be even more beginner friendly because that's probably the most challenging thing because we um, changed the ties to elastic. Yeah. It meant that we had to be careful that we didn't stitch it into the seam. I like the fact that you can put wire in to shape the nose it's obviously a really beneficial feature to make sure that you've got a better fit on your mask and it's great that you can remove it for when you want to wash it and yeah i just think it's really nice that it's from one rectangle so it doesn't take long to cut out the yeah, pattern really, piece too bad, really. and yeah so you have got this opening firstly to get the um wire at the top out but also you can put a filter in and i think i don't know if it's the government or i saw it on the bbc website but you can use a bit of um kitchen towel in oh, there okay. as the filter i don't know how well that works but <laughs> moist breath um, but yeah, so I'm really happy with that. I think now that we've trialled it, I'd be quite happy to um, batch make a few now. Yeah. And uh, do you think you'd be making another one? Maybe. I'll have to see. I'm <laughs> quite happy with this one. Yeah, but you need you need like a couple. So if this one's in the wash, or that one's in the wash. And this might be good as well for where we live, because there are quite a lot of narrow lanes where you can't be two metres apart true. if you do meet someone. So it will mean that, you know, you could wear this at yeah. least through that path. So yeah, that's our crafty date for this. So, um, and a bit of a review. Pandemic edition, yeah. <laughs> I guess it's also a sort of review for this because I don't know if anyone else is feeling this, but I'm feeling a bit of face mask pattern overwhelm because there are so many online. I just couldn't decide for ages which one to choose. I really just wanted to find one that worked nicely that I could rely on. And this one fits the bill. So yeah, I definitely recommend it. And yeah, you can definitely substitute elastic for the ties and the pattern right so i think that's it for this time yeah that's it yeah so we'll be back soon with another video but for now thanks for watching like and subscribe